Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio love reading. Yeah, uh, uh, still a part of your June Sations energy, Scorpio. So we're pulling your energy. Uh, what does the universe want you to know for your highest good, Scorpio? Uh, so that you can continue to flow uh, easily, gracefully, right on into your life of abundance, Scorpio, because. You know, abundance is always attracted to you. It's like you have spiritual favor, Scorpio. Scorpio, it is like we have spiritual favor here. So I have a couple of different decks. I have my energy and spirit oracle. I have your spell casting um, oracles. And I have your abundance uh, oracles here too. As well as the tarot. And at the end, I'm going to pull you some uh, uh, attractor energies. How you can attract abundance in your energy Scorpio now Scorpio this is a general it's not going to resonate for every single Scorpio so I always say take the part that resonates with you and just discard the rest because maybe it's for someone else or maybe it's just you know for what it, you just, just just take care of what is for you that you know because after all you're highly intuitive you're psychic and you know more about your situation than I do so let's begin with your energy and spirit oracles here Scorpio I pulled you three cards here. I only pulled you two of these, though, because I don't want to make it too long. So you have the number uh, 39 card, which is relaxation. It says perfect pursuits, now peaceful pursuits, happy times here. Look at you. Some of y'all just laid back. You just kicked back. You ain't, you know, you ain't doing nothing. Uh, uh, but, but I feel like you're longing to, and some of you guys are just in this dream state here. You're just so into your spiritual realm, uh, in, into your uh, manifestation realm, where where you don't know what's going on around you because you're in a spiritual bubble here. Uh, you're in. It's like you done floated up to heaven and you've forgotten that your body is still here. <laughs> in other words, what I feel like here, and I'm gonna read it for you because it's awesome. And then this card, this card came out one of your last readings, Scorpio, creation here. It says soul expression, something new. Ooh, it's like your soul is crying out to be let free here. Try something new. It's like universe is telling you, try something new. Uh, you're going to have to try something new sometime, Scorpio. And then this last card here is sensitivity and strength, tapping the force within. See, Scorpios come self-equipped. We already have everything we need from within in order to get all of the things that's on the outside of us, Scorpio. So let's start here with this. I'm going to start here with three, sensitivity here, since that's the order. We're going to go in the number order here. So it says sensitivity and strength, tapping the force, tapping the forces within here. So it says this card upright is telling you, Scorpio, to pause and resist any old urge to plow through things. Consider the peace and compassion you would introduce into or you could introduce into a tense or tenuous situation. When you look at the situation with flexibility and calm clarity, you bring gentle, receptive yin energy to the issue. Then your sensitivity and strength will come together in vibrations as powerful as a soothing, as powerful and as soothing as the sun's rays here. So spirit is telling you, you have a lot of power here, but you, you also, you, you also have the energy to tame the beast. It's like the beauty and the beast. You, you tame, you, your energy has a taming emotional uh, uh, remedy to it. It's like it's soothing, it's therapeutic, it, it, it's, it's a spiritual healing that you can bring to any situation. You know, you, you can stop a volatile situation and make it very, very peaceful because of your emotional uh, equip, or your emotional tools as well as your emotional power here. So Spirit is saying everything you don't have to, you know, what they say you can get a whole lot of bees with honey, then vinegar. Uh, something to that effect, Scorpio. Flow with me. But it's telling you, 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 you have so much power in you. You can control any situation. What they say, it ain't what they call you. It's what you answer to. And Spirit is telling you how to answer, how to deal with certain things that come your way. Because I feel like Spirit is also telling you that you're the man. Of, you, it's like you have the control over every element of your life. Remember, everything, every person that we meet are not personal. They're just 
um, props. They're, they're only tools to push you towards a higherness in this journey. It's just to push you. It's, it's like, you know, it's like you got people coming to your life for reasons, seasons, and all those things like that. They're really irrelevant to the bigger picture here. The bigger picture is to get Scorpio on Scorpio's spiritual throne, okay? And that's pretty much what it is. And it's almost like you're the empress energy or, or, or you're, it's like you're the king of a nation. You're the king of a whole tribe here. And you're, you're the mediator. You're the healer. You're the provider. You're the comforter. It's like, it says sensitivity and strength. And this only empowers you, but it's, it's because you do have the power in you that certain things do come your way because you're already equipped with it. Look at this. You see that this big old uh, uh, armor thing, this metal thing, but you got the feather here. It's like as light as a feather here. Even though it can withstand all, it, this can withstand a lot of pressure. But your approach is so gentle. See, it's like spirits telling you take a more, take a more uh, gentle approach towards certain things, and it could be towards people too. Because it's almost like spirits telling you to guard your energy. You don't have to hoop and holler to get a point across. You can you can address you you can address the giant or the beast with just gentleness. That's all your gentle approach is gonna shut it all down. It, 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 I'm telling you, it, it's like the sting is not gonna be so hard because when that feather lands, it's not gonna even feel it. So it's like it's not always what you say, but your presentation, the power behind your presentation says it all, Scorpio, and it also empowers you and strengthens you as well. So your creation energy here, Scorpio, a soul expression, something new. So let's check it out. Number 37 here. Some of y'all might be 37 here. That's the number 10. So this says, this card heralds exciting new creative beginnings from business plans to personal projects or family matters. Your soul is longing for you to create something new. Uh, this can expand. Uh, this can include expanding your family. You've been thinking about having a baby, adopting a child. There may even be a new romantic relationship in store for you, possibly with someone who already has children. Uh, it is also a good time for you to be creative in your work or personal projects. Uh, if you've always wanted to start, um, it says if you always had a penchant for some form of artistry, make sure you prioritize that endeavor now. Whether you're an artist, writer, composer, chef, or fashion designer, let yourself engage in those activities with abandon. Uh, if you've been thinking about starting a new business, Scorpio, it's time to focus your efforts on that. Whatever the project, plant the seeds of your creativity, of your creative energy now, and enjoy the growth of something new. Spirit is saying some of y'all got, this is like kind of like the um, Empress energy as well here. Because it's creation here. You, you, you're planting something and Spirit is telling you keep on watering it, Scorpio. It is growing. Keep on running. Whatever seeds you plant, don't you dare walk away from what you planted. Don't you dare to just keep on nurturing it. Don't give up because, let's, let me tell you what it said at the end. It says, Whatever the project, plant the seeds of your creative energy now and enjoy the group, the growth of something new. It's going to grow. It can't help but to grow if you're constantly nurturing it and giving it what it needs. Let's say if you have a business and you feel like you're not getting the results you want out of it. Don't give up. Don't give in. Because, because what you planted is dependent on you. It didn't plant itself. You planted it. So if you plant it, then you're responsible for what you plant. It's just like your own life. And sometimes we have half ass take care of ourselves. But something that you're trying to grow and manifest, you have to stay on it as if it is a newborn infant because it is new. Aren't you trying to create it, bring it to life, bring it to life? So the spirit says you have to nurture it. You have to water it. You have to love it. And I guarantee you it's going to grow. Look, it's already growing. See? It's already glowing. It says, watch the sun shine. I'm telling you. Spirit says, try something new. Express yourself. Show your creative side here. What, you know, you just be yourself here. Whatever you planted, don't you neglect it. And whatever you keep putting off, Spirit is telling you now is a good time to start those things because it's just time. Anytime the card comes out, Scorpio is telling you it is time. What you waiting on, Scorpio? 
So now this relaxation here says peaceful pursuits, happy times. See, I feel like, just like the cards say, you sit around here, you done created this heavenly bubble for yourself, but you done forgot that your kitty cat keeps thumping and a bumping and a bumping and a thumping, thumping and a stumping and a bumping. Come be yo, Jainos. <laughs> I feel like you got the little thump bump going on in your, in, your, in your spirit. Like, no, you don't need that. And your body's like, uh, but yes, we do because we're still down. Spirit's like, no, just stay up here in blissful spirituality. And the body like, uh, yeah, but you're steady thumping and uh, ch 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 change a panty liner. <laughs> oh, for you men, change your boxers. Change your boxers because... <laughs> it's like the, the spirit is warring with the flesh here, Scorpio. Your body is talking to you, Scorpio. Your body is talking to you now. I'm telling you. It says, Scorpio, this card is calling you to take a time out. Life may be very busy for you lately, but now is the time to slow things down a bit. When some free time pops up, instead of adding more things to, to your to-do list, uh, consider your relaxing uh, options. Listen to music, take a walk in the park, or just snooze in the sun. It will make a world of difference in your personal energy. Now, another message here is the encouragement to have more fun. Include more socializing in your schedule. Meet with friends that make you laugh. Carve out some time for a vacation. Join a sports team, a dance club, or an art class. Commit to something that makes you happy. When you relax and engage in more joyous activities, you will open your life to even greater experiences of bliss. Ooh, ooh, bliss. Ooh, Scorpio got that bliss. Scorpio, spirit trying to help you open up to more bliss, okay? <laughs> oh, spirit say, will you please get your ass up, put some clothes on and go out? Please, please, please. Stop coming up with excuses why you can't do nothing because your energy is learn is yearning for a change, is yearning for some excitement. And I feel like this will open you up to more uh, opportunities for things that you've been desiring to come your way. You don't know who you may meet that could give you the right idea that could really boost your career, boost your boost whatever you're working on. I'm telling you, we're all so connected. The universe works like that. But if you're hiding yourself out, you keep making excuses why you can't do it, then it's your, your, your manifestation is going to be stagnant here. And there's no need in waiting. Let's get this happy now, Scorpio. So with your spell casting, you got trust, love, and healing here. So let's do it in the order that it came. So this healing here, Scorpio, it says health issues and chronic pain take their toll, affecting the way you live your life. Be humble and seek the appropriate help and medication, but allow to the healing energy of the spirit to soothe your discomfort. Investigate and the beneficial healing properties of natural remedies by seeking out a qualified herbalist or gain relief through natural energy healing practices such as Reiki uh, or meditation. Reducing your intake of alcohol, caffeine, and sugar will raise your energy uh, vibration on all levels. So take sensible steps to ensure the restoration of your health and listen to the signs your body is trying to tell you, Scorpio. Now, for this card here, it suggests that uh, you're a natural healer. It says heal using Reiki or crystals. It says work with natural healing, uh, healing herbs. Uh, your body craves detoxification here. So a lot of times when you're feeling sluggish here, you know, you just, especially, see some of you Scorpios, your iron may be low too. You may want to check your iron, but this is also telling you, Go on and go on and go to the doctor. Go on and get a, a full physical. You know, make sure, you know, what are your options? They're, they're more than just popping popping medicine pills here. You have natural herbs. You have natural uh, remedies that our ancestors practices here that, that's not going to add insult to injury. You know, because with the med medication, you may help one thing, but you might trigger something else. <laughs> 
But now with this natural herbs uh, type of thing here, Scorpio, it's saying that your body is 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 um, craving detoxification here. Think about all of the things we've been eating. Think, and it's not just a physical de uh, detoxification; it's a spiritual. Think about all of the energy you absorb from people. People be dropping their shit off on you. That's why you got to be careful who you allow your energy uh, to be uh, joined with. Who 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 gets to to come into Scorpio circle? And you really have to be. It's almost like you got to make them. You got to do background searches on them. <laughs> You gotta you gotta check their credit scores. <laughs> you gotta find out who how was their mama in, in junior high school. It's like you 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 really have to find out who you're with because it can compromise everything about you. But some of you Scorpios may be feeling sluggish and drained here lately where you feel like you don't have that much energy. I feel like you may need to eat more bananas, anything that's going to add more potassium in your energy. But the sun helps a lot too. Anytime you can work outside, do it. Anytime you can be outside, do it too, because that brings a lot of healing too. Because see, she's lit up. You know, plants help a lot, Scorpio. So, but this, this is what it's telling you here. I don't know, what did it say again? Okay, and it says, it's time for acceptance. It says, make that overdue appointment. See, it's what the Spirit is telling you. You know, don't just lay there and deal with it and, and um, deal with anything it could be a mental thing if you feel like you need help or you need to talk to someone about dealing with some depression don't just go at it alone you can live a healthy life here uh, but i feel like you're going to have to get diagnosed and get get a professional opinion but don't stay in this don't stay in the pain don't stay whatever it may be don't welcome that because you have new beginnings you have a lot of things you're trying to birth in, you're trying to manifest things, and you need to make sure your energy is right for it here. So now you have trust and you have love. And I thought that this was so beautiful because it's almost like the universe is telling you, Scorpio, you need to just trust love. You don't have to trust a person, but do, do you trust love? Do you trust love? Here's what I feel like. Well, spirits tell you, Scorpio, trust love. So let's see what trust is all about here, Scorpio. Trust. Okay, so it says, you be wise to be watchful and to trust no one at this time. Damn, keep yourself to yourself and do not busy into any fear or chaos that's being stirred up around you. You know the truth, so stand strong in being true to who you are. Remember that relationships, whether personal or business, should be built on trust and a mutual agreement could test your faith. You've been letting down badly. Wait, you've been let down badly before, and it's taken a, a while to trust again. However, someone vulnerable needs your assurance, and a secret is shared. It's time to prove how trustworthy you really can be. Ooh, Scorpio. So it's like spirit is, I feel like spirit is testing you, Scorpio. I feel like someone that wants to come in and bear it all to you, but they don't want anyone else to know. But I feel like this is also going to build you up too, because can you keep a secret? Would you share someone's personal energy? You know, someone's trying to heal here. So, but, but what, but, but the really magical meaning about this, it says, hold your cards close to your chest. That's like that high priestess energy. In a sense, it's telling you never let your right hand know what the left hand is doing. You don't tell everything because when you tell everybody the moves you're trying to make, they ain't even got to physically do nothing but their words and their uh, 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 side eye and you, evil eye and you, and speaking against you is going to make you have to work harder here. Hold your cards close to your chest, Scorpio. Be careful with whom you share your ideas. See? You share your ideas with someone because you're happy that the universe is blessing you with creativity and they try to steal your shit and make money off of it, Scorpio. Spirit say, watch who you trust your ideas with. It says the person you've inquired about is trustworthy here. So it's saying that whoever's coming towards you, you can trust this person here and they need to be able to trust you too. But it's also telling you that you you can't tell, you guard yourself because everybody can't be around you here. But I feel like it's saying, but it's also saying open your heart. It's time to trust. See, it's like spirits telling you in order for you to, to really find someone that you can really trust, you have to be that same energy. You can't expect for people, you can't expect to find someone that's very, very trustworthy when you're not. So this is for whoever that don't come for me. I'm just saying 
Spirit say, look, if you if you were looking for somebody that you can trust in, first you have to be someone that they can trust in too, Scorpio. Then you won't always have a hard time trusting people and trusting in love here. Oh, my goodness. All right, now love here. Oof, 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 Scorpio, Scorpio. So love. It says the love that you seek is waiting to be made manifest. You'll know when it arrives for love always looks for the looks for the best in others and is recognized in an instance. Love is your true nature and it's necessary for you to honor the compassion you feel in your heart. When you're true to yourself, your light shines brightly with divine love, nourish you from within and inspiring those around you. Heartbreak, loss and rejection has caused your heart chakra to shrink and your fears have become guarded and defensive but have faith scorpio for a little magic will bring about that satisfaction your heart requires in order to be whole so it says work with a rose quartz crystal accept and believe in who you are scorpio and it's safe both to give and receive love and it says to honor your true feelings here so it's telling you it's safe for, to both give and receive love. See, that's when the trust comes in, Scorpio. Because a lot of times we'll be putting so much pressure on them to be right. Are we always right? And I feel like that's what Spirit is saying, that you're looking for all these things. First, you have to be those things that you're looking for. Just think about it. If you keep, if you're attracting certain types of people, make sure that same energy is not found in you. But in order to have a very trustworthy relationship, you yourself, us ourselves have to be trustworthy as well. Because Spirit is telling you it's safe both to give and receive love. Honor your true feelings. A lot of times you hide your love. You, you fight love because you're afraid to trust it. And then you're going to be in the bedroom, horny, lonely, asking the universe, why? What's wrong with me? Why, why, why? And the universe goes, God dang, I just sent you this one. But you're scared of them. Why? Because they don't look like your ex. Why? Because they're not tall. Why? Because they don't look like this. They don't talk like this. But I'm sending you love. Love is a spiritual thing, Scorpio. It's, it's not a physical thing, although people think it is. Ooh, that's what it is. And look underneath your, um, this deck here, your, eh, eh, what is it? Your uh, energy and spirit deck, Scorpio. It's like it just keep on flowing like spirit is talking to you because... Underneath the bottom here, you have personal God here. It says guardian angel spirit family here. So it's like you, you're spiritually protected here. You're guided here. You're guided to fulfill the contract that you already agreed upon. You're not here alone. You have your spirit family that's here protecting you every step of the way, Scorpio. Teacher, see? Uh, learning a new path. To go to that new path again. See, some of y'all scared to teach. What are you afraid to teach? Now, it ain't always got to be about tarot. It could be about music. It could be about love. It could be about exercise. It could be about herbs. It could be about health. It could be about uh, math. It could be about anything. But it says learning a new path. Some of you Scorpios are called to teach, but you're not doing it because of fear. You don't trust that it's going to do something for you. And see, you got prophets and ancient seers. See, you come from a you come from a lineage of prophets and seers. This is why you should already know this. And if you don't know, Spirit is telling you, you got to tap into who you are. I'm not talking about from a bloodline. I'm talking about from the spiritual line. Who is your spiritual lineage here? Your spiritual uh, ancestors are prophets and seers. It's this ancient. That they've always did this, Scorpio. That's why it comes natural to you. But you're going to have to build this so you don't second guess yourself. It says decisions, decisions, predictive guidance here. See, you, you don't even have to worry about nothing catching you by surprise if you're really tapped in. Because your energy, you're going to already pull their energy. You're going to feel it, Scorpio. I'm telling you. And then you got currents of emotions here. It says uncontrolled feelings. Some of you Scorpios are too emotional right now. And this needs to be brought to balance. And it could be your emotions could be uncontrolled because of some type of like some type of deficiency. I hear deficiency. It could be some type of vitamin deficiency here. You're not getting enough sun. You're not getting out in nature. You're not getting out in nature. 
because I found this out for myself. This is why I started walking. But even then, when I can't walk, I signed up for a membership. But it's like, you know, then I'm getting older too. And, you know, and then it's a sad, it's not sad, but it's a beautiful thing to find out how to better take care of myself as an older person. But for you younger Scorpios, you should start now. Because if I knew then what I know now, then a lot of things, I'm sure I would have made better choices. But it, everything happens for a reason. But if you're finding out this now, then Spirit's telling you, work on it now here. So that, so that your emotions won't be all over the place, Scorpio. Because your emotions will have you not trusting love when it comes. Because you'll be too busy tapping into somebody else here. Freedom here. Moving on. Letting go here. See, some of y'all going to have to move on and let go of things. But it's kind of hard for you because your emotions is flowing. You, you're too emotional. You're not seeing things from a mature angel. Justice, harmony. So let's see. Whatever was, whoever did you wrong, you don't have to worry about it. Cause you know, one of my biggest problems, I remember one of my, ex <laughs> Ooh, one of my ex-boyfriends, he, he got killed in 2011, but it was a guy who I used to date, but he kept on trying to come on to me, even though he knew that I had a new guy and this new guy, he went for tough. And so I don't know what, I don't know if it was about this or it was about, I guess I got into it with my sister or something because I think it's because she wanted to go to the hood club and I didn't want to go to the hood club. I didn't, wasn't feeling like no hoodness, y'all. <laughs> I be trying to get be on my grown and sex, but she be wanting to thought it out. And so we got into it and I guess we got to talking crazy to each other on the phone. And he looked at me and he said, why do you always, why do you always have to, <laughs> and this is what he saw about me. He's a Pisces. He said, why do you always have to get back at people? He said, why do you do that? Why, why do you always have to have revenge on people? He said, I noticed that. He said, you. He said, and y'all, it kind of hurt my feelings, but he called me out. He said, my dad is a Scorpio. He used to do the same thing. He would treat people. He would, it's like when you, he's the sweetest person, but it's like whatever ticks you off, you're going to go for it and, and you overkill people. He said, that's your sister. And I said, yeah, but you, she was talking crazy to me. He said, so you're the big sister. I expect more out of you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he would tell me that. And I'd be like, he said, how can something so beautiful be so crazy? He would say stuff like that, y'all. He would call me out and it would hurt my feelings because I felt like I couldn't control it. I'm telling you, what is it? Uncontrolled. I felt like I couldn't control. I don't know why, but it's because I really needed to heal here. I'm telling you. I was, I would, man, I could be detrimental with my words. And, and, and it's only because. My my bark was way much hell of a severe than my bite. I really was was a, a wounded, loving, nurturing energy from within. But I was so afraid. I was so hurt, y'all. And so I lashed out because my emotions was messed up. I'm telling you. But the universe is telling you, you ain't got to do nothing. We got you. We're going to make sure the scales are balanced. If anyone did you wrong, all right, they're going to get it back. And you ain't even got to do, you ain't got to send shit to them. You ain't got to say shit because just like us all, Whatever you sow, that thing will you reap. So you got to be careful here. Partnerships, see, because you got somebody coming in anyway. See? Oh, Scorpio. Now, under uh, this one, this deck right here, your uh, love casters, you have inspiration. See, you're supposed to be, in, you're supposed to inspire people, but I also feel like you are self inspiring because you have everything you need from within here. Clarity. I feel like you can bring the truth, but I also feel like the universe wants to reveal so many more things to you if you open up to it. But if the universe said it's showing you things and you're not trusting it, see, look at you, psychic ability. See, I told you. you didn't I tell you you come from your ancient ancestors who are, 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 are seers? They're seers. And th this is why you have your psychic abilities. So spirit wants you to tap into that. You you don't have to you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to not trust something here. Not not every situation. Dreams, your dreams can come true. And I feel like you see it in your dreams, Scorpio, with these psychic abilities. But even some Scorpios don't even believe what you're seeing in your dreams. Because remember when they say when we dream and we when we sleep, we awake, and when we're awake, we're really asleep. So it's like the universe is really trying to come to you in your dreams and show you how powerful you are. But some of you Scorpios are still emotionally damaged. You're not hearing it. You're not hearing it and you're not seeing it for yourself. Now, you're too abundant, Scorpio. So be finical. Scorpio, know you. I mean, the universe know you like that love. 
So you have love and divine source here. So this love says divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. So see, you have you had it right the whole time when you be so in love with your person. That's how we're supposed to be towards people. It's not that you was off, Scorpio. It's like the whole world was. Because people look at love like it's, 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 it's you know, got the cooties or something here. But Spirit is telling you, um, love itself, love, it says, it says divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation, Scorpio. Ain't no person. It, it, ain't, it ain't never been about the person. It's about the love itself. The love itself. Now, you, the divine source here. It says, help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. See, Spirit said they got you. What are you What are you afraid of? What are you waiting on? Step out. Open up something. Be daring. Be bold. Act as if you believe this. Act as if you actually trust it. And I, I'm telling you, it's going to happen for you. It's going to happen. It's not a matter of if. But only when it's going to happen, you keep on planting, you keep on nurturing what you planted, Scorp. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give in. It's going to happen. The universe has already made a way for you. You're not going to come up short. You're not going to be struggling to stay afloat and pay your bills and all those things. No. No, the universe has you. But you, it's like you, you got to step out. You have to do this. Spirit is not going to force it on you because we all have our own free will. But I feel like universe wants you to trust so that you can have what you've already been asking for. You know you've been asking the universe. You know you're asking the universe for some stuff. But some of y'all asking for stuff and you don't even trust it. So Spirit's like, no, that ain't how this works. Do you, do you really want this or are you playing with me? Because there's some Scorpios out there that, that's not doing this. The universe is giving it to them. All right, Scorpio, let's go to the tarot. Now you got this king of cups sitting here winking his eye at you and licking on his lips. Somebody want to love you, baby. They, they want to love you, Scorpio. Now this could be you masculine Scorpios here. Uh, you know, ready for love. You you know, you then hooked up. You done bedazzled that cup. You trying to send love, love energy out there because you're ready to fall in love here, Scorpio. Ooh. I see the King of Cups and I see the Sun card. Yeah, yeah. Now they say the, the this is the overall energy, the King of Cups and the Sun card, Scorpio. Ooh. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Now it could be that someone looks at you like you're you're everything or something is illuminated. Someone could the spirit could have tapped somebody on the shoulder and said, Hey, you know what? You know why you always feel this way? Why? Because you in love. No, 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 no. You know why you feel like every time you sit, see this person or you hear their name, you light up? Well, yes, because you're in love and it's King of Cups. And they don't want to believe it, Scorpio, but I feel like someone looks upon you like like you could make them happy. Like, like you brighten someone's day, Scorpio. Your energy brightens up someone's day, Scorpio. Ooh, what is this, the world card? <sighs> now, this could be a new opportunity coming your way. It could be You guys could be about to travel here. It could be travel in your energy, Scorpio. It's traveling to the sun, Scorpio. Some of you guys are going to travel on a beautiful, sunshiny day straight, straight into the arms of someone who's really going to love you, Scorpio. Ooh. Someone may want you to travel to see them, Scorpio. Could be a Leo, could be a water sign here. Ooh, judgment. Mm -mm. Taurus energy. Oh, Scorpio, someone, I feel like someone is, <laughs> I don't feel like this is you. I know it could be you, Scorpio, but I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's someone who wants you here. <sighs> Give me some more energy for Scorpio here, Spirit. What's going on with Scorpio's love life? Who is coming towards Scorpio, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to be made aware of, Spirit? Show me Scorpio. Ooh. Eight of Pentacles, Strength card. Ooh, y'all been getting the Sun card and the Strength card. Some of you guys are about to travel for work with this Eight of Pentacles here, Scorpio. Justice. Ooh, you got all this major shit going on, the High Priestess. Nine of Cups. 
this is major. You got something major going. Some of you guys, ooh, your life is about to change, Scorpio. Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces or a Libra here. Look at this. High priestess in the justice card. Some of you Scorpios ain't saying shit because you already know. Some of you Scorpios are not talking to a Libra. Nine of Cups energy here. The Emperor. Ooh, Scorpio, what is going on here? Y'all got... See, y'all energy has been so strong here lately, Scorpio. I, I feel like it's because you're manifesting. Especially if you ain't out shaking your ass. You ain't out trying to have no drink. You ain't out... Oh, there you go. Oh, snap. Ho, oh, ho. They go to Queen of Cups. Ooh, so now we got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Everybody, King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Ooh, Scorpio. You could already be dealing with someone who may want you to come to them, may want you to fly to see them. Oh, Scorpio, this is a twin flame connection here. Somebody's in love with you. You may be in love with them, or this is just a very good connection. Eight of Wands. See, I told you, Eight of Wands here. Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, Spirit. What else is going on with Scorpio? What is this about, Spirit? Show me for Scorpio. It could be that someone is trying to, someone is, you You turn somebody on, or it could be somebody who is lacking the courage here. Go oh, there, go there, go there. Six of Wands. Huh? So you've been getting, a, you get, get the Six of Wands a lot. You got, so you got a lot of victory in your energy, Scorpio. Someone, what is it? Someone, see the Ten of Swords underneath. Now, this might be someone from your past. It may be. All right, let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. Oh, my goodness, Scorpio. Look, look, you got Judge McCarter underneath this. Some, somebody dealing with a Taurus here. It seems like someone is trying to build up the courage to call you. With the King of Cups, the Strength card, and the Eight of Wands, or someone wants to come see you, or someone is trying to resist talking to you, and I feel like they're going to overcome that with this Judgment card here. I feel like the Sun card here is someone, I feel like someone, it seems like what is illuminated to someone is that they are in love with you. Because look, you got the sun card. It's like they realize that, damn, this Scorpio makes me happy. I mean, I'm in love with this Scorpio. Because this, you look, they, they say Scorpio gets me. If someone feels like you're their match, Scorpio, and I feel like this person may did not want to acknowledge it at first, could be a Leo, not necessarily, could be a water sign here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces here. But I feel like someone tried to resist their emotions here or resist moving forward towards you or resist communicating with you. But I feel like that same resistance is going to turn to courage and they're going to step out to you because it's illuminated that they are in love with you. See, either way it goes, it's, it's doing it. They're they going to... See, the King of Cups with the Sun card. This is what is illuminated to them. Their emotions here. Their emotions are on front street. So it's like... Whoever is around this person, they're going to start seeing a change in this person. They're going to be like, God dang, man, you, you don't seem the same. Well, well damn, well, are you dieting? Well, what, well, why are you, well, what the hell is wrong? You what, what, you must have got you some, man. You're like, no, nah, man, but I, but I am feeling somebody. <laughs> I feel like this person's emotions are all over the place. Oh, it could have been, it could have been that card that I saw. Emotional, um, it could be someone that's coming towards you, Scorpio. What does it say? Emotional control. Let me find it, y'all. Here. Currents of emotions. Uncontrolled feelings. See? <laughs> for some of y'all, it's someone with uncontrolled feelings for you that they've been trying to hide, Scorpio. Ain't that some shit? They've been trying so hard to resist. Surely I ain't fell in love with the Scorpio. Man, I know I just met me. Or I don't even know her. I don't even know this person. I feel like, I feel like this is someone that you don't know, though, Scorpio. And I feel like this is someone who is realizing that they got feelings, very, very strong feelings for you, Scorpio. See, because with the judge, you got the sun card, the judgment, and you, the queen of cups, and here they go right here. 
It's something that's illuminated, which is their feelings. That's what's illuminated here. Now, it could be this person wants to travel to you in this world car. This person could live a distance from you, Scorpio. This person could work a lot, too. And it also could represent you working hard and you getting a lot of victory and success in your own life, Scorpio. And it could be someone that wants to come put in that work and, and building this. Somebody come into one building and they want, they want to win. They want to be victorious. They want it to succeed with you, Scorpio. I feel like someone wants to succeed with you because they feel like you get them. They just feel like you guys can do very, very good together, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. They feel like y'all can do real good together. And both, both of y'all cups. He a king, you a queen, or vice versa. Ooh, all right, Spirit. Now, let's see what's going on here. Now, let's see what's up with this King of Cups. Let's, let's start off with the King of Cups. All right, Spirit. Why is the King of Cups here for Scorpio? Clarify the King of Cups. The hangman. Because I feel like this person had to step back and look at you in a different light here, Scorpio. This person, I feel like this person tried to come up with every reason why they're not in love with you. Like, if this is someone new, Scorpio, they've already fallen for you. And I feel like if it's someone new, I feel like you feel this person too. But I feel like they were in denial here. I, I just feel like if this is a new connection, someone was in denial here. I just feel like this is a new energy here. So this person had to sacrifice. This person really had to go outside themselves to really look at it like, Am I seeing this right? Is this for real here? Because I feel like this person tried to hide it here. And I also feel like this person was afraid. This person could have been facing some fear. They were, they, I feel like this person don't fall in love easily or they don't show love. And I feel like this person tried to hide it. Clarify this King of Cups for Scorpio. What's this about? Somebody dealing with a water sign. See? Ha! <laughs> Snap! <laughs> told you Scorpio this person they didn't want to believe like am I really feeling this person here this is what it is am I really feeling I surely I am not look oh snap see <laughs> oh Scorpio you see me pulling these cards Scorpio oh Scorpio oh 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 this is what this person had. This person could not believe. I feel like this is a new person. They feel like they can't believe that they caught feelings for you already. This person can see themselves with you too, Scorpio. They feel like you get each other. Now, if this is someone who you first met, just recently met, they feel like you guys are on the same page. You guys can do a lot of shit together. It's just you and them. This is what I feel like. And I feel like this person didn't want to see that because they like, no. Let me look at this again here. I, I don't think I'm seeing this right. I mean, God damn, man, I just met her. Yes, yeah, she cute. She fine. She wise. She mysterious. But damn, man, and have I, did I fall? I think they done fell for you, Scorpio, because they done fell in love with you. You got a soulmate here. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. Now, what's up with this strength card? Now, we know this strength card is Leo's energy here. I feel like this person's trying to hold back here but they couldn't help it i just feel like this person just couldn't hold back here look the king of wands <laughs> clarify strength for scorpio Ooh, clarify strength for scorpio Ooh. okay look at this <laughs> i seen this six of cups i feel like this is a past life person scorpio i don't feel like this is anyone else look they're gonna four ones <laughs> Clarify strength for Scorpio. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. Clarify strength for Scorpio. Look, King of Cups, see? <laughs> oh, thank you, Spirit. I told you this person was trying to hold back. They were like, surely I ain't fell in love. But what the hell is wrong with me, man? And like, man, I know you ain't fell in love with that Scorpio already. Didn't you say you don't, you don't know him or you just met him or maybe you went on a date with him, maybe you talked to him? It's like this person is really trying to resist that they done caught feelings for you with the strength card in the King of Cups. See the same King of Cups up here, Scorpio? Ooh, they in love, baby. Ooh, <laughs> clarify the strength card for Scorpio.
page of wands here. Cause this person thought that thought that they wasn't that this person wasn't even looking for anything serious. And when I feel like when I say wasn't looking for anything serious, you could you could met met someone on on like and it wasn't serious when you met this person. You just conversated. You, you may have even went out with this person, but they really wasn't really looking. This person could travel a lot with this world card. They could, or this could be someone that lives somewhere else. I feel like this person really wasn't looking for much when they met you, but they fell for you. I'm telling you, they did. This person would just want to have a good time, and I don't. I feel like this person wasn't looking for much at the time. Oh, Scorpio, but I feel like they fell for you here. See? Ch uh, chariot card here. See? So this someone, I feel like someone may have picked you up. So you guys may have traveled. See, someone travels. See, that there it is, Spirit. See? I feel like someone travels here with this world card here. I don't know how you may meet this person or how you're going to meet this person. For some of you, Scorpios, you've met this person. But I feel like this person travels a lot. They may have not been looking for a lot because they do travel a lot. But this person instantly fell for you, Scorpio. I'm telling you. And they they was trying to hide their emotions and hold back because they couldn't believe it. This person not believe Like, God dang, I just met this chick. Or I just met this dude and they already done fell for you, Scorpio. So I feel like you done put in a lot of time or if this is someone you've already met, you put in enough time where this person know that, know that they feeling you and if not this someone is coming in you're going to put in enough time with this person that they're going to fall for you i'm telling you here now what's up with this eight of wands for scorpio clarify the eight of wands eight of wands is ten of swords here Whew. so someone want to talk to you or someone wants to come see you here Clarify this Eight of Wands. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Ooh. Oh, because you walked away from somebody. Or maybe they walked away from somebody else, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. Ooh. I feel like this person done walked away from something. Look, there go that Six of Wands again, Scorpio. <laughs> Like as soon as this person meets you and they realize they're in love with you, they're gonna have to let somebody else down on no Scorpio in order for the ooh, Scorpio, in order for them to be with you like they want to be with, they're gonna have to hurt somebody. I'm telling they finna walk away from somebody, Scorpio, this eight of cups, because they coming in with to you with the six of wands, but you got the six of ooh. So they leaving somebody, Scorpio. And I feel like this is a traveler, it could be a businessman of sorts. You're going to meet this person. They're on the road a lot with this world card, this chariot card. They wasn't looking. I'm not saying they was looking to, to have sex, but they, they wasn't. They just maybe go have fun, have some drinks, sit and talk, you know, whatever. The page of page of ones is not much. It's adventure. It's fun and it's excitement here. But they are. They must have had somebody, but it must have not been much because they leave. <laughs> Don't look, don't stone the messenger. It ain't my fault that you done made an impression on somebody or you're going to make an impression on somebody. They want to leave the one they with, start a new relationship with Scorpio. Uh, oh, Scorpio, clarify the sun for Scorpio. Clarify the sun. Some of y'all dealing with the lead. Oh, see, nine of cup, that is baby, baby, uh. Scorpio, they say, God dang, the Scorpio do it all for me, though. Man, I can't front, though, man. Old girl back at home, I mean, man, we, we, we wasn't all that anyway. We wasn't in no relationship or nothing. But I shall tell you what, this, I don't know something about this Scorpio. She just liked my life. She just adds a certain type of life. Scorpio got this certain type of life in her. And it just it, and I just want more of it. I just know that Scorpio can feel my each and every desire. Ooh, because she lights my soul on fire. <laughs> That's what they saying, Scorpio, the sun card, the nana cup. They say, man, I'm telling you, <laughs> they're going to be like, <laughs> look, they're going to six of swords. They getting the hell away from somebody because it was a lot of confusion with them anyway. 
I'm telling you, whoever they're leaving, which was probably just an option, it wasn't nobody serious. Like I said, this person probably has someone. But they want you now because they're leaving wherever. Like I said, they're leaving them. They're leaving them, Scorpio. Ooh. And I don't care what some of y'all going to say is your ex, but some of y'all maybe. But I don't feel like this ex energy. It's spirit is sending you a new soulmate. Remember, Scorpio, we're so connected. A lot of times the person who is totally for you, the person who totally gets you, the person who you can have the most fun, the person who you can grow and be excited and have adventure with is usually going to be somebody who's already involved with somebody Scorpio, but it always seemed like they time going to run out because some of these things are faded. It's supposed to happen. I'm telling you some of y'all soulmates is in a relationship with somebody else. And it could be someone that you don't even know. See, I'm telling you this person is going to get rid of somebody else because they, whoever they were with the connection is not like, they feel with you. They say you light it up. They say you're second to none. Even at a, like I said, this person may have a lot of people after them, but I feel like none of them can compare. Look, look how this, this is, this is a rose and it's just in the middle. It's just so beautiful and vibrant here. They already got their eye on you though, Scorpio. Like I said, I feel like this person, once they lay eyes on you, talk to you, put time in, it's going to be a wrap because they're going to just want you. Now, what's up with this judgment card, Spirit, for Scorpio? Clarify judgment for Scorpio. Judgment is clarified by the King of Swords. See? It could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this person's putting their foot down. They, 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 they going, <laughs> this person, since they met you or when they met, look, whenever they met you or whenever they meet you, they're going to go ham. They're going to go and clean house. With this judgment card and this king of swords, they said, look, I'm, I'm, they said, look, when it comes to doing what I need to do to clear out energy, I ain't got no love. God dang it. I'm doing what's best for me. And it's the logical thing. I done found somebody who I get and who I like. I want, I want to be with this person. And this person's finally making a judgment call to leave out whoever else they were with. Ooh, Scorpio. Look, they got the king of wands here too, Scorpio. Ooh. Clarify judgment for Scorpio. Why is this judgment card here, Spirit? Because this person say that they don't have to sneak around and do shit. If they go on and lay it out and do it like it's supposed to, they say they're a grown-ass person. They ain't got to sneak around and do shit. This is why they, they finna do things in the right way because they said that they don't want to cheat. They don't want to have to sneak around when they can just walk away from a situation. Ooh, Scorpio, I feel grown man energy here. I feel, see, this is somebody who they choose. Snap, see, thank you, spirit. <laughs> see, they going to the freaking star. I'm telling you, baby, they coming to you. You're the one, like I say, you, this person feels like, they're, th th this is what this person, th this is a judgment, this is a boss judgment call that they're making with the judgment card. They're making a wise, thoughtful decision here. They're cutting out shit in this king of swords. It wasn't no love where they were at anyway. See, they had their guards up with whoever they were with anyway, but not with this king of cups and queen of cups. Their emotions can come alive. They don't have to hide it. They can be themselves. That's why this person couldn't believe that they had failed for you. Because they had been in this King of Swords energy so long. But they're using the same King of Swords energy to address. Look, I ain't got to step out on you, chick. To be with another lover. I'm just going to end it with you. Because I'm going, I'm choosing the lover. The, the, somebody, it's like this person feels like you're their every wish come true. They've never met anybody like you, Scorpio. Some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius here. This is a grown man energy, a grown woman energy. They say, I ain't got to sneak around. Why, why I got to sneak around when all I got to do is walk away? Yeah, I know you're going to feel like I'm doing you wrong, but I mean, God dang, it's too much confusion. I'm really not happy. I'm just saying it ain't no confusion. It's just too much confusion. I really don't want to be there. I'm not feeling you like that. Yeah, we've messed around, but it ain't nothing. I want this one. I want Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, they want you, honey. They choose you. Oh, baby. They choose you. Oh, yeah. They choose you, baby. Ooh. Sometimes somebody got to be left out in the cold. Now, Scorpio, you know you was left out in the cold before. Now, it ain't your doing. It's what they doing. This ain't on you. 
And some things just have to be. You ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> they want to leave their person. They ain't got nothing to do with you. That's on them. Now, what does say it the Scorpio? What you talking about, Scorpio? Ooh, King of Wands energy. For some of you Scorpios, your mind is still on a fire sign. That's why universe got trust here. And letting go, some of you Scorpios need to let go of something. I feel like you might gonna have to let go of something. Where is it? I'm gonna let it go. Archangel, connections, freedom. Freedom, moving on and letting go. Some of you Scorpios, some of you Scorpios have moved on and let go, but for some of you Scorpios, you may have a fire sign that's still holding on to you wanting this love from you. But I feel like you got somebody else coming in. I don't feel like it's the same one, but let's see. Clarify this uh, Queen of Cups for Scorpio. Why is this King of Wands here? Temperance here. Because I feel like for some of you Scorpios, you're still, um, you still need balance and you still need healing here. You still need restoring in your energy here. Because you may be, some of you Scorpios are waiting because it may, maybe you feel like you need to uh, heal. Or maybe you, you, you need spiritual protection or you need healing to get uh, rid of this King of Wands energy here. Clarify this Queen of Cups. See, there it is. There it is right there. Some of y'all going to have to decide. See, because some of y'all still holding on to an ex person here. But you see how the Queen of Cups, this King of Cups didn't show up, this King of Wands did. So like I say, this person is going to be way much more into you than you're into them, Scorpio. But they're going to feel this connection with you. See how you came up in this King of Cups energy and this Two of Cups? This is how connected they feel to you. But your energy is, is you still holding on to someone from your past. See? Two of swords, you're going to have to make up your mind, sweetie. Because what you have coming for you is a soulmate, someone who wants to move forward and live with you and, and build with you. All right, Spirit, why is this world card here for Scorpio? Clarify world. The magician here. I feel like someone know how to get what they want, Scorpio. And it could be someone that's traveling from around the world. They're, they're a big magician here. Look. Six of cups. Now, this could be a past life purpose. You got the two of cups. I feel like universe is trying to bless you with, I feel like for some Scorpios, and please don't take it wrong, but this is just the reality, Scorpio. Because this is what spirit had to show me for me. And I'm only going to share this with you. You take it or whatever's on you. A lot of these exes that we were dealing with were just karmic lesson mates. They were not supposed to be with us. They were supposed to push us to our higher calling and our higher good. Because what, what better way to level up is to when you hurt. You look, look at the songs. Most, most people have put out their best album when they've had some type of challenge in life thing in their life. Especially during some type of relationship. It just seemed like the relationship, it seemed like the energy of pain and hurt pushes you to, to present more of the emotional side of you. And so I feel like, Scorpio, a lot of you people that who you were dealing with are not anyone who you're supposed to. They were not your, 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 your person. They were a soulmate, but they were a karmic soulmate, a soulmate lesson made here. Spirit's trying to get you out of that so that you can uh, be with your true love. Because I feel like this is true love here, Scorpio. Meanwhile, some of you still holding on to this person from your past. So you're holding on to them. But I feel like someone that, that does not live close to you is a, a mighty magician here, uh, a mighty manifester here. Someone knows how to manifest. And it's almost like this person was manifesting someone. Here, let me put the six of cups here. Clarify the world card. See, you got a boss. I knew it. I knew it had to be. I knew it had to be a boss here. This person that has money, Scorpio, this is the same King of Cups. You know the King of Pentacles can make it move. This person is very, very confident. They usually get what they want because they are the manifesto. They know their powers here. And they could actually be tapped into. So this is why you guys are going to be so compatible, Scorpio. For some of you, Scorpio, this person's coming to your life to help you up your game, baby. I'm telling you. Y'all supposed to be manifesting some shit together here. 
Ooh, give me one more card for this world card. See, this is probably why this Six of Cups, this person was sent into your life. You guys already had a contract here. This person is supposed to help you up your manifesting game, Scorpio. Now go to Eight of Wands again here. Put this Six of Cups. Because I feel like this person sent to you is a past life person. And I feel like this person, every time they get close to you, you still stay in some for some of you Scorpio, you're still in this indecisive energy because you're still waiting on this Leo Sagittarius or this Aries here. But they come and this is this is this is their purpose. This is a traveler Scorpio with the world card and the six of cups. It's like your soulmate, your true love has been living across the world from you, Scorpio, been manifesting you. <clears throat> this person has been manifesting you, Scorpio. Let me tell you why. Because they get you. See, they're, they're the king of cups. They're, they're manifesting someone like them. See, this this is what they've been manifesting. This is somebody who stay away across the world. They don't need, they're not even local to you. They, 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 this is so, oof. And, but like I say, they couldn't believe it. This person could not believe it, even though they manifested you. And I feel like they're manifesting. It's like this person probably was like, I, I, I desire something better. So whoever they were with, it was nothing like this. It wasn't emotional. It wasn't spiritual here. This person has been longing for you, Scorpio. Oh, now what's up with this eight of pentacles for Scorpio? Oof. What car was that? What did I see? What did I see? Oh, okay. Clarify the eight of pentacles for Scorpio. May have a lot of hate. That same car I want to come out. Eight of Pentacles, five of one. Some of y'all got a bunch of hating ass people talking against you because they mad because you're getting money now, Scorpio. And it could be someone trying to distract you from your goals here. And then it could be, look, it could be a lot of people that want your guy too because I feel like your guy is high, prior, high commodity. I feel like your person in this King of Pentacles, they got some good money. They got a good job, a good career or something. And people always want their attention. Everybody want to be wifey down with this person because they work, they make good money. Because remember, they're the King of Pentacles here. But, you know, this person, see, all of these other people come after your guy. They, they're they the ones pursuing your guy. But in this spread, your guy is pursuing you. See, that's the difference. Yeah, a lot of people want your person because they think that they, they finna commit to them and they get to live high off the hog in this King of Pentacles because uh, they know your person probably own their business or they, uh, they make good money. Uh, but your person is seeking you out, Scorpio. That's the difference. And it's a spiritual uh, connection with you too. Who I feel like this person wants you with this four of wands. This person wants to commit me with you, Scorpio. Everybody fight. Cause this is, I feel like if this is a Taurus, because you got judgment, you got world. It could be a earth sign, it could be a uh, it could be a Taurus, it could be a Scorpio, it could be a Leo or Aquarius. I see Cancer, uh Sagittarius, Leo. We see Leo. See Leo heavy in here. We see Aquarius. I guess it could be anyone. Pisces here. All right, Spirit, clarify uh, Eight of Pentacles. The Tower card here. I feel like what the, everybody finna find out, your person finna be off the market, Scorpio. And a lot of them hating folks who, the person leaving out in the cold, they gonna be regretting that they're not the ones that got chosen, Scorpio. That's what I feel like. I feel like your person gonna up. <laughs> Whoever this new person is, it could be an Aries, it could be a fire sign. I feel like you, <laughs> for some of y'all Scorpios, and I'm telling you now, like I say, I feel like this is for Scorpios who have newly met someone that you're already dating, but they're new. They're not the past person, okay? This person going to commit to you, and it's going to shock everybody. I'm telling you, you you going to look up, and this person going to ask, hey, you be my lady. Well, okay, well, we, we in a, we're a couple now, and it's going to shut down everybody. It's going to be a surprise. They're going to find out that you're in a relationship and possibly even marry Scorpio. Now, that's for those who got the eye to see. If you don't see it, then this is not for you. But some of y'all going to get a, a unexpected um, proposal here. That's what it is. And some of y'all could unexpectedly, you could get an unexpected proposal with this person too, because they're working on something here. 
they're always working on something, but I feel like they always got a lot of people that's trying to come to them because they think that they can put their thing on them and get their attention. But the difference between them and you is they're chasing your person, but your person is chasing after you. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Get it straight now. Scorpio ain't got to chase you now. All right. Now the six of wands. Spirit, clarify this six of wands. This, whoever this person, this person may have hit a... I feel like this person was high in, in high demand. Everybody, This was a ball, Scorpio. Everybody wants this person. But this person, I feel like this person used to the finer things of life. They're used to people coming at them. I feel like this person's a business owner. This person makes good money. But I feel like there's a lot of people who would love to be with this person. But this person was not in love with none of them. There was no emotions attached to them. This is why this person could cannot believe that they fell for you. But it's supposed to. Scorpio, I'm telling you, this is it. All right, Spirit, clarify the six of wands for Scorpio. Clarify six of wands. Six of wands. Ha! The Emperor, see? I'm telling you, some of y'all dealing with an area. This Emperor finna come in here and pop shit off here. Emperor... <laughs> it's making their final decision that they finna be happy, Scorpio, and they finna start over. They finna start over the right way. Some of y'all got fire heavy. It's an Aries in it for some of y'all. Or uh, someone got Aries in your or Taurus with this judgment. See, they did it on the judgment card. This is the same one them, them them telling somebody that look, I ain't got to lie, I ain't got to cheat, I ain't gotta play them games with you. I'm just gonna tell you I don't wanna be with you. I, I get to choose who I want to be with. I want someone else. I don't have to do these things. Because I'm deciding that I don't want it with this judgment card. Nigga, the same judgment card. Ooh, Scorpio, you got you a real one here. This one ain't playing no games. You know they ain't playing no games with Emperor. They, they said they pay the cost to be the boss in this thing. And ain't nobody going to tell them what to do. This is why they have a lot of victory and success in their life, Scorpio. This is a very successful person here. So this person had to take control over their lives after they met you, saw you, whatever. And decided, man, screw everybody from the past. I'm finna start over with someone who completely gets me and fulfills me. Cause they got the nine, you got the nine of cups with the sun card. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, I ain't gonna say you done wrecked a happy home because I feel like it wasn't no happy home. And I don't feel like you had nothing to do with it, Scorpio. I feel like your person, whoever this person is, they got their eye on you. They decided to leave everybody else because no one else is like this connection. And I feel like this person realized they love you, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. All right. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see, I'm about to forget. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. All right. Messages for Scorpio, Spirit. What type of... Now, this is your attractor. Let's attract some money, Scorpio. Let's attract abundance in every area. It ain't just about money. It's about good health, good mental, uh, good emotions, uh, good, uh, good finances here. Be happy, share the wealth, be a blessing for other people, but your energy has to be right. So Spirit wants you to know, Scorpio, it says, when I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally, support will surround me, and movements will form. See? It says, when you make joy a priority, you're not always happy, but sometimes you have to choose to be happy. What they say, sometimes you actually have to fake it till you make it. You start faking happy long enough, you start faking joy long enough, your body going to say, well, shit, I am happy. Habits, you, you create good habits is what it is. It says, I can do less and attract more. See, the spirit don't want you upset. Do what you're supposed to do and then sit back and relax, Scorpio, and let the universe take over because it's what you planted. Just make sure you're planning good things. That way you don't have to work as hard, Scorpio. What other message for Scorpio? It says, wanting more for others puts me into an energy of abundance. Of course, the universe can trust you, Scorpio. You've always been giving and loving. And the universe says that I'm going to bless you. Make sure you have everything you need so that you can have over it. It's like you're going to have more so that you can give to other people because you're the one that will do it. The universe knows that they can trust you with abundance here. And your last card, it says, when I'm in a state of appreciation, I'm in vibrational alignment with my true love nature. Look, you got a true love coming your way, honey. They coming, baby. And this ain't no old ass ex. This is a new person. New person who, like I say, someone who is on the side, other side of the world here that travels. And they, when they met you, talked to you, or however, they already knew you're different. You're, you're the one. You're the one they've always imagined. It's you, Scorpio. It's you that they need. 
Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpio is you that they've been searching all their life for. All right, Scorpio, this will conclude your reading. If this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, Scorpio. Leave me a comment. Thank you guys so, so much, Scorpio. And I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpio.